Ghostly greetings, my dudes. Ghostly greetings. It's your boy, Prue, so holler at me. We're talking about Jack Carr's The Terminal List, a series starring one of my favorite Hollywood actors, Chris Pratt. Love Chris Pratt so much. He was in a show I liked called The O.C. He's in Jurassic Park, Guardians of the Galaxy. Almost anything Chris Pratt's been in that I've seen, I've really liked. I can't think of much that I saw Chris Pratt and I didn't like. But this isn't about Chris Pratt and me being an okay, Chris, a huge Chris Pratt fan. Pretty much, I'm pretty much big huge Chris Pratt fan. But The Terminal List by Jack Carr. Uh, you know, I do those plot, characters, pros, cons, and how I dealt with the whole story. But I'm going to say that this, a little violent. Okay, so there's a Navy SEAL, Reese, and he leads a group of Navy SEALs to this hill of some kind, and they get ambushed, and then shots get fired, and his whole team gets wiped out, and he makes it back. He's hardcore. Him and a couple of his buddies make it back. Not many, but one by one, they start dying, and he has to find out the conspiracy on why his team gets taken out, or if he's just going crazy. That's the general plot of it. I don't want to give too much away because it leads into more what's going on. But basically, when the Marine comes home, he asked Marine, I'm sorry, Navy SEAL. The, the, when, that, when Reese comes home, his friends start killing themselves and stuff starts happening. He thinks there's more involved and he starts figuring out the conspiracy. So that's the general plot is ex-Navy SEAL tries to figure out the conspiracy that killed his troop. There's a big more to it, but I don't want to spoil that at all. Give the plot a five. I think that is awesome. I love military books. I love man fiction, like Rambo and stuff. And this is total man fiction. This is Jack Reach. This is Rambo. Army guy comes home, has problems, uses the skills he's learned in the military to take it out. I say Army, it's the Navy SEALs. But, you know, whatever man fiction I'm reading, a branch of military varies. Uh, characters. Uh, James Reese is amazing. I actually did not remember his first name. It's on the back of the book. Everyone just calls him Reese. Uh, he was a cool character. I liked his studying of war and philosophy, and I like how he did other things besides just shoot people. That's a big problem I have with some of these man fiction books is that the guy's only good at killing. This guy tried to be cool. I liked his family. I liked his wife. I liked his friend Boozer. Boozer was my favorite character in this book. I really liked him. Um, and there were some, like, helpers he had along the way, like a news anchor and stuff like that. And I really liked all of the, all of the characters. But no, none of them except for Reese and Boozer stuck out in my mind as people who I'd go out and get beers with. So I'm going to give the characters a four. Pros and cons. Pros, if you like military fiction. Uh, some of the adverbs used, like, you know, ASVAC and SETAC and SOCOM and stuff like that. You'll know what those are. I loved that. I thought that cool. That really helped my immersion. It's like, we got so calm inbound. I'm like, in my head from playing like Call of Duty. I'm like, get out. <laughs> and I was like, cool. So comes. Yeah. But I really helped me get more immersed into the book. Uh, Jack Carr's writing style. A really fun and easy to digest. Nothing overly complicated about it. It's really the meat and potatoes of writing. Um, and I really enjoyed the conspiracy style story being a big X-Files conspiracy nut. Anyone who's big into conspiracy series about my age, conspiracy theories, basically just telling you I watched the X-Files whole bunch as a teenager. Cons. Uh, middle act drags like a son of a bitch. Whew. Let me tell you, that's middle act in this 500-page fucking book. Drugged so bad, I went to audio and I had to like put it on times two speed. Because if you're into like... The, the setup, and I'm into, like, the delivery, but there was just so much for, like, he's designing weapons and infiltration tactics and stalking and, like, cameras, and he's really, like, doing infiltration spy network or spycraft. I was like, God damn, this is a lot, and he went into expert level detail. If you're into it, you're going to just fucking love it. You're going to be like, oh, my God, yes, yes, fuck, tell me about the fucking spy cameras. But I'm like, oh, my God, another chapter about fucking spy cameras. Jesus fucking Christ, how many spy cameras do we got? Oh. But, you know, the infiltration, the sleuthing, and all the detective work involved in finding out the conspiracy. Um. Uh, uh, how would I enjoy this book? You know what? Honestly, the middle act drug really fucking bad for me. So I can't give it a perfect grade. But the beginning was so fucking good. I'm not even 
joke. And I was like, the first 200 pages, I was like, oh, this is amazing. Everything is so happy and I love it. And then the last 50 pages, I'm like, oh, that's a good ending for him. I'm happy with the way this played out. It was a little sad. I can't tell you the ending, obviously, but it was like, this is beautiful. In my head, it's just, it reminded me of Guardians of the Galaxy. I was like, wow, it's a really good ending. But goddamn, that middle 200 pages, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God, it was so terrible. I'm not even joking. Like, there's one part where I'm like, just fucking shoot him. I don't care. Quit going to his house, investigate. Quit looking through his drawers. Just fucking shoot him. Fuck, give me the gun. I'll fucking shoot him. I don't even know what's going on. I just want something else to happen. And I was a little upset. I was a little upset. But this was a lot of fun. I'm going to give it a 3.5 based on the middle. If you can cut out, if you edit that middle chap, middle block, for me, that would have made it a 4.5 book. Characters were semi not memorable, but I loved it. But ah, that middle block is fucking wore down. However, if you're into like sleuthing and like detective work and how he there's a part where he like buys all these locks and learns how to lock pick them and then he like talks to his buddy and they're doing safe cracking and building infrared cameras and electrical work and i'm like if you're into that then you are just in hog heaven you're just fucking rolling and you're like oh my god yes give me the goddamn fucking spy craft give me the tools i want to know what's going on for me i'm like I swear to fucking God, do you need, how many more fucking times are we going to do this? Buddy, you got this. You're a fucking Marine. Just kick in the goddamn door and shoot him. So I pick the lock and torture him and da 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 I'm like, oh my God, quit doing this. Let's get it over with. And like I said, list. So he has a list of people and items and processes that are involved in companies. And he's trying to do his best to take them down or, you know, go into detail. And I'm just like, buddy, we're on number four. You got like 30 more people on this list. You gotta hurry it up. You gotta go along. We gotta, we gotta go around time. But other than that, I'm gonna give us a 3.5. It's a solid C plus. I'll give you a B minus if you're into man fiction. But for me, that little spycraft in the middle block really took it down. All right, 3.3 guys. Deuces.